it's dropping people pretty quick. Hey guys, what's up? My name is T-Space, and welcome back to another episode of Off the T, where you, the viewers, ask me a question on Battlefield 3 or off the topic of Battlefield 3. So today's episode, let's start it off with a person named Cool Whip. <laughs> nice name. Anyhow, his question is, uh, what do you think of Planetside 2, and are you planning on playing it? Also, uh, what, are the other, what are the other games you are looking forward to? Um, to tell you the truth, I actually got uh, invited to the Planetside 2 beta. Uh, I, I wouldn't say I got invited. One of my friends actually got a beta key and was kind enough to actually, you know, uh, hand it over to me so I can, you know, try it out. Uh, but the only downside to this is that uh, when I actually am playing it, I try to record and it's it's horrendous. It's pretty bad. Um, given that the map is just humongous, uh, compared to Battlefield 3, it pretty much eats my computer up. Uh, when I walked into one of the huge fortresses that's you know available within the map, uh, I got an average of 10 FPS when I was recording. When I wasn't recording, I got an average of maybe 30 to 40, so that was even pushing it. Um, but overall, when I wasn't actually playing or, or planning on recording, I, I had an okay time, but since I, I didn't really know anyone else that had Planet Side 2, um, it, I was kind of lost in a sense. Uh, given the map was extremely huge, I didn't know where the action was. Uh, I kind of, you know, was was stuck running around for like, I don't know, 10 minutes not knowing what to do and all I see in front of me is just a bunch of mountains and desert. Um, I didn't realize until maybe like 30 minutes into the game that I can actually buy bikes with like, you know, some, some, some currency or whatever. I really didn't look into it that much. And I, well, once I bought a bike, I started, you know, driving around even more. I was still pretty lost and I didn't know where to go. So I decided to look at my map, of course, and there are these little exclamation marks. And I assumed that means, you know, that's where, that's where, you know, uh, opposing forces are, you know, attacking our, our team or whatever, right? So I start heading over there. Once I head over there, the exclamation mark is gone, and I look at the map, and they're pretty, pretty much everywhere else but where I'm at. So I'm like, well, fuck. This sucks. And then I, I'm, I'm on like a, a wild goose chase going after these exclamation marks on the, on, the, on, the, on the map, and when I get there, everything's gone, or everything's dead, or nothing really happens. And I don't know. It just kind of pissed me off in a sense. I mean, when I first found my first person, um, I, I scoped up my sniper rifle. I couldn't get the bolt action. I don't know how to get it. Maybe I have to, you know, play a little more until I can, you know, unlock it or whatever. But I, I was using the semi-auto, which was, don't worry about it. I'm not going to, anyhow. So <laughs> I was using the semi-auto. I shot him. I killed him. And I was like, yeah! And then, and then it was just another, like, you know, 20 minutes of me trying to find <laughs> where to go. I mean, I, I was completely lost. Uh, so overall, I mean, it, it seemed to be fun. I'm pretty sure it'd be more fun with uh, with friends. But uh, as of now, I probably won't be playing it as much given that I can't record it. Uh, I was actually really hoping that I could record it so I can show it to you guys. Uh, but that isn't going to be the case. So I'm, I apologize for that. Now, his second question was, uh, what other games are you looking forward to? Um, to tell you the truth, I'm not actually looking forward to any other games. I mean, a lot of people have been talking about, oh, Borderlands 2 has just uh, been released, and, you know, people have been, you know, playing that pretty much nonstop. Um, I, myself, I, I played Borderlands 1, or just the first Borderlands. I did enjoy it a lot, but I got quite burnt out on it. When it first came out, um, I played it with a couple of friends, like, constantly for about, like, two weeks, like, straight. That's all we played, and it was, it was very intensive, and... Um, I don't know, I just felt like I got burnt out on it, and I didn't really see the appeal for Borderlands 2, even though Borderlands 2 is, I'm, ass I'm assuming it's going to be a pretty good game, uh, but I mean, I, it's just, I don't know, I, I, didn't, I didn't see any appeal for it. So other than that, I mean, I think the games that I have right now that are occupying me, uh, such as CSGO, uh, Guild Wars 2, and Battlefield 3, uh, and also TF2, I guess you could say, those four games will probably keep me... Uh, well uh, entertained for for quite a while. I mean, I'm not really, you know, I don't really have the urge to get another game at the moment because most of these games are, you know, they have a lot of replay value and um, they keep me coming back for more. So overall, I wouldn't really say I'm looking forward to any other games because, you know, I pretty much have all the games that I want to play. So hopefully that I answered all your questions correctly and let's move on to the next question. Actually, the next two questions are 
pretty much the same question. One comes from Wesley uh, NLD Xbox Live, and the other one comes from Neo Furious Beast, and they both ask me, "Why did you Why did you join YouTube in uh, in the first place?" Uh, to tell you the truth, I joined YouTube because I literally felt lost. Uh, at the moment, right now, I'm 20, and uh, I'm I'm at that 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 point where I'm becoming an adult, and you know I should know what I want to do when I grow up and whatnot. But uh, at the moment, I am. I'm kind of lost. I really don't know what I want to do with my life. Um, when I was younger, I would always have these, like, you know, these dreams on what I wanted to be when I grew up. Uh, of course, I grew out of those dreams, but, I mean, the, the first dream that I had was, I, I want to be an actor. I mean, at the time when I was, like, in, in middle school or something like that, uh, I, you know, I watched a lot of film. I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't to the point where I watched film and knew every person, every actor, every director or whatever. I just watched it because I liked I liked to watch film a lot. So, you know, I said maybe maybe becoming an actor would be would be amazing. And then of course I, I quickly grew up grew out of that dream and um, I moved on to another one. When I went into high school, uh, I would have to say that I, I really got into games then. Um, I started playing more multiplayer games, and uh, overall it was fun. So I decided maybe if I play so much game or so many games, I should you know go into you know game design or something like that. Maybe that'll help me, or maybe that'll be more interesting for me. And uh, overall, you know, I mean that sounded cool. So I, I started talking with a bunch of friends that are actually going into the game design uh, business, and uh, as they were talking to me about you know what they're doing, what their projects are, what they have to do, and uh, what are what are the requirements, uh, it kind of bored me to death. I'm not gonna lie, I I was severely bored with all their stories when they when they told me what they actually had to do and I was like oh that doesn't sound appealing at all I don't want to do that so then after I kept on you know finding out more information about game design and how they put so much work into it how how, how many hours pretty much people spend there's a bunch of uh, there's a bunch of deadlines that need to be made in a short amount of time I don't know it just seemed like it was too too intensive for me to actually handle I mean it it was it was both boring and then you know very stressful so those two don't really mix well to me so I decided you know maybe I shouldn't become a game designer but at the same time I didn't want to you know leave the gaming uh, you know aspects so I you know I went on with other other topics like you know animation so I can you know, animate characters or whatever or graphic design in a sense so I can design stuff, I don't know, and then I figured out that I don't have any artistic, you know, ability, so I kind of dropped those also. So now going into college, uh, I, I, you know, I went in with a undergrad, um, trying to major in um, computer science, and that was too much math. I mean, given that I am Asian, the stereotypes, all Asians love math, I hated it. It was too much. I didn't, I didn't want to do any more math. It was, pff, you know, I, no. <laughs> so, um, I, you know, I, I decided maybe I should just, you know, go with more of a generic uh, topic. So I, I, I'm deciding now to go over to communications. Communications is pretty much a general and broad kind of um, Ma oh, sorry, my voice is cracked. Um, <laughs> major. Uh, so, I mean, because when I when I do graduate, um, my in uh, my entire field of work can be you know kind of be endless. I mean, most most majors or most uh, businesses require you to have some communication and given that I am majoring in communication uh, it might not be too hard to actually find a job now um, so overall I I decided to do YouTube after I realized that I didn't know what to do with my life um, I would say around at least in America uh, the 20s are are the coming of age now uh, they're, they're the point, I think I said this before, they're the point where you become an adult. You need to start knowing what you want to do, and you need to start knowing how you're going to do it. At this time, I really don't know what I'm going to do. I'm kind of kind of lost. I just I just don't know what to do anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm deathly afraid of what actually is going to happen. So, uh, I mean, I, I've been in this state for actually ever since I joined college because I, I mean I'm looking at my friends they yeah, see gonna, they know what they want to do they have an idea and they're, they're doing it I mean I I don't know what I'm doing and I, I am not doing it because I don't know where I want to go um, nothing truly interests me uh, to the point where I want to do this for a living if that makes sense I mean I know people say just get a job and then you'll you'll get more experience and then you'll probably figure out what to do next I mean th that's that's easy enough to say but I mean I don't know it's kinda difficult in a sense so I started YouTube up because maybe I thought you know YouTube would open up some doors for me and uh, you know maybe it'll show me some more possibilities to where I would actually like to you know go into the field of work um, but actually uh, it didn't open up that many uh, doors 
the the major doors that it actually opened up were you know the 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 networking doors in a sense. So basically, I, I met a bunch of people over on the internet, and uh, overall, it was it was really entertaining. I met uh, a bunch of great players. Uh, I met X Pack, No Pants Hero, Apple Teeny, Zero T, Anthony Mango, Eagle Man, um, Captain Shivers, Puppet Master, uh, Monty, everyone from the Nullset Clan. If they do actually watch my videos, um, and and a plethora of other people that you know I really enjoy playing with. I mean these these players are are very unique. They're they're funny. They're creative. They're supportive. They're um, overall nice people. So overall, I think YouTube kind of you know just brought me out into this huge vast world that I would have probably never ever gone to. I mean I probably would have never ever made these friends if I didn't start YouTube or you know actually just start playing games in general uh, because you know I would have to either drive or take you know road trips to different states and then physically meet these people. But then even at that, that's kind of be you know a uh, 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 kind of hard. Uh, I know that was kind of a tangent and whatnot, but overall, I started YouTube because I didn't really know what else to do. I mean, I, I kind of wanted to try it, yeah. see if I can, you know, see if I can succeed. Uh, I would say I did it okay, but I mean, I'm still still going. I mean, it's it's, it's still process. So basically, that's pretty much why I started YouTube. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the only reason. <laughs> Uh, but I know this this video is kind of short, even though I only had two questions technically. So I'll give you guys one tip. Um, so basically, some people have been asking me uh, how to uh, increase your frames or basically make your frames, you know, more consistent. And overall, I'm not a very tech savvy guy. I don't really know how to do all these things too well. Uh, but I've been tinkering around with my my settings to the point where you know. I, I try to optimize my computer to the best of its ability because it's not the best. So uh, this is a tip that you know might work for you, but it might not work for you. Uh, and keep in mind, this is just somewhat of a theory. I kind of just figured it out by myself. Um, I'm pretty sure there is a website or something like that that actually tells you uh, the, the pros and cons of what I'm going to tell you now. But anyhow, uh, what I'm doing is a very simple fix or a very simple um, tweak in a sense. You don't have to download any programs or anything like that. Pretty much everything that you have already is what you need. So what you need to do is you need to uh, uh, sync up the, uh, the in-game resolution with your computer monitor resolution. Uh, whether that be a higher resolution or a lower resolution, depending on how... how you know, faster computer is. Uh, for me, I reduce my resolution when I actually play games. So basically, in game, my resolution now is 1280 by 720. So I match that up to my monitor resolution, which is now also 1280 by 720. But I only change that when I'm playing games. When I'm, you know, I'm not playing games, I change it back to my normal or my native resolution for my monitor, which is 1600 by 900. And uh, when I do change it back to, you know, 1280 by uh, 720 when I am playing, it keeps my frames somewhat consistent. I don't know why it does, but it just does. Uh, so it, it kind of works for me. Uh, so I'm telling you this now because I want to see if it actually works for you guys. If it does work for you guys, please tell me, like, you know, why it works or, you know, how it works or just say, oh, my God, it works. Because, you know, uh, hearing that feedback will, you know, uh, uh, I don't know, give me more incentive to, you know, share this this tip or this tweak or whatever to other people because, you know, I have more I have more evidence to back it up. Like I say, oh, well, these guys said it worked. Maybe it'll work for you. So hopefully it works for you. If it, if it doesn't, well, then I'm sorry. <laughs> but overall, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you want to be featured for the next episode of Off the Tee, go ahead and send me a private message titled Off the Tee. And, uh, you know, It'll be easier for me to, you know, find your questions. And don't be discouraged if you, you know, you don't think your question is not going to be asked. If I don't answer it in the next off the tee, uh, I pretty much have it in a line to the point where uh, every person uh, gets their answer, uh, you know, or their question answered. And so, I mean, you don't have to worry about me just, you know, dumping your answer into the... Uh, into the you know the trash without you know actually reading it because I don't really get that many because I'm not that huge. But anyhow, I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this video and like always my name is T Space and I'll catch you guys later.